This is an introduction video for the CEDO Satellite Data Finder. When you first load the page, a modal will appear with a few key bits of information. Firstly, only 1000 results will ever be plotted on the map at any one time. This is to try and avoid overcrowding. And when using the rectangle search tool, it's only 100 for the same reason. This means that it's very important to use the filters on the left hand side of the page to narrow down your results. first filter is a time filter. Uh, you can pick a specific year just by clicking one of these bars. Um, or you can go to a specific date by using the date picker tool. Once you change the dates in here, if you hit apply filters, it will reload the page. This tool allows you to change the map center. So rather than clicking and dragging the map around, you can just jump to a specific place. So let's say Sudan. And it will reload your results. The next tool is a rectangular search tool. This allows you to draw a rectangular bounding box on the map and search within that particular space. So the first thing to do in order to use it is you go to the top right hand corner of the map, turn it on. This will clear all the polygons from before. This just makes it a bit easier to, to draw on the map. Draw a little box and it will zoom to that space and find the results for you. You can change the size of it by dragging it using these corners. If you do that, then you need to click apply filters to get the new results. You can also move this box by grabbing one of the sides and it will move around. If you can't get these corners um, because there are polygons in the way, then you can use this button, clear results, and that will clear all the things from inside and you can easily grab the corners of the box. This button here, clear filters, removes any objects from the page. So it removes the rectangle, it removes the polygons and resets everything back as if it had just loaded the page. The satellite data finder allows you to refine your search by satellite mission. When you first load the page, there will be no numbers here. It will just be these. So if you refine your search, you can reduce it down. So let's just say I wanted to see Sentinel-1 information um, and click apply filters. And only Sentinel-1 is rendered. This number here indicates how many results you're seeing given the current search. So this is this window here there are 165,000 results for Sentinel-1A. Once you have clicked apply filters and these numbers are here, this will be automatic. So if you click one of these, then it will refresh with your current selection. And obviously you can tick here to apply them all, which gets a bit busy, or remove them all. This little globe icon, if you hover over it for a half a second, then it will show up a dataset coverage map. And so you can see Landsat 5 only has information around Central America, but something like Sentinel 2 has global coverage over land. We've already used these things, but apply filters and clear filters just allows you to change the selection. So if you've made a change and it doesn't seem to have loaded, click apply filters and it, it will. And if you want to clear everything and reset it as if you just loaded the page, then just click clear filters and that will just set everything back to the first state. Export results, let's uh, narrow this down to just Sentinel-1B. Again, this exports 1,000 results. So if you've got more, which we do in this instance, then it will only pick the first 1,000, which are the ones which are rendered on the screen. You can have the raw JSON, which comes back from the server, which looks like this. You can have file paths, which give you the file path to the data file, or perhaps most usefully, you can get the URLs to that file. Clicking this button here will copy everything inside this box to the clipboard and you can use it to paste anywhere else you want. These are worth noting. Just down here, you've got the number of hits with your current selection. So this tells you how many results you have on the page at any one time. If this is more than 1,000, then not everything that's available is being shown. The polygons on the map are clickable. When you click on one of them, it brings up a little window which shows some information about the data file you've clicked on. So that gives you the file name, start and end time instrument, and a little 
quick look image which shows you what's on the file. If you want to download your file, if you click download and you're signed in, then it will download the file. If you're not signed in, it will give you the option to sign in. If you click on view directory, it takes you to the location where that data file is found. So you can look at some of the metadata and check out other files in the same data set. For some of these files, they are stored on tape. If that is the case, then these buttons won't be displayed, but a small bit of text saying, this file is stored on tape. In order to access it, click here. That link will take you to some information about how to gain access to that data file.